We've already looked at what databases are and what they do. However, you might be interested to know a little bit more about a relational versus a non-relational database. A relational database works by having groups of data called tables that can be related to another table or tables. For example, you might have three tables, customers, products, and purchases. Customers and products aren't related to one another, but purchases relates to customers because you can find out who was buying. Likewise, products are related to purchase table. That's because it's going to specify what was being bought. Depending upon the type of data needed to be stored, you could have as few as one table, two tables that are related to one another, or even hundreds of tables in your database. Most modern databases are relational databases and use the structured query language, or SQL or SQL, to access and change the data within the database. Some common relational databases include the Desktop Microsoft Access, or MySQL, SQL Server, Oracle, and of course, there are many others that are out there as well. Now, non-relational databases were actually the first type, and most of them was just stored in a few large tables. There was no way to relate two or more of these tables together because setting up a relationship can take a lot of computer time. Now, as computers got more powerful, most databases became relational and it was easier to use them that way. However, in the last few years, there has been a big push to return to non-relational databases. These databases are often referred to as NoSQL databases because they don't use SQL, and instead they have their own way of producing the same CRUD ability for the database. The reason for this return to non-relational databases is the size and the amount of data that they can hold. Larger and larger and more complex systems need more data. And sometimes that means the database spans multiple computers. Trying to relate tables across multiple computers can take up too much time to return an answer for your query. Additionally, data needs to be replicated on many machines in a lot of cases. And if it's done at different locations, let's say offices in San Francisco, New York, London, and Melbourne, Australia, then a traditional relational database would start to experience problems. However, a NoSQL database would not have these same issues. Common non-relational databases include things like CouchDB, MongoDB, as well as many others.